double calendar versus iron condor. Um, so when you're looking at double calendar spreads or iron condors for earnings, they're both neutral trades. They both are delta neutral in the sense that you want the stock to stay somewhat range bound. You don't want the stock to go beyond your strikes in a, a big magnitude for either of those strategies. But the double calendar specifically takes advantage of the extreme near-term IV percentage inflation much more efficiently. And uh, the TLDR reason, too long didn't read, for those of you that don't know what that means, uh, is just that there's when you're in an iron condor, you're in the same expiration. When you're in a double calendar, you are staggering the expirations, and your short option is in the near-term cycle where the IV is inflated, and your long option is in a longer term cycle where the IV is not as inflated. So that difference is the reason why this strategy, the double calendar, is more efficient in terms of taking advantage of the near term IV crush. Iron condors define the delta risk by using an opposite strike uh, option. So if you sell a call, you're buying a call further out of the money. Or if you sell a put, you're buying a put further out of the money in the same expiration. So that's how it defines your delta risk. Your deltas, and this is really why when we talk about iron condors and spreads, we don't talk about gamma risk too much because your gamma risk really only comes into play in a very small range where the stock yeah. exceeds the short strike, but the long strike expires out of the money. If both strikes are breached, your delta is zero, literally. So gamma risk doesn't really apply uh, in this sense, which is why we don't really talk about it too much in terms of avoiding it but that's how the iron condor defines your delta risk it's the same option type but the op the opposite so short call versus long call short put versus long put in different expirations i think i was just filled on the meta roll we'll well, there you go for 15 cents you're gonna hold that pig for another 15 cents yeah mm -hmm. um double calendars though they define the delta risk by purchasing the same strike. So instead of having separate <clears throat> strikes that are further out of the money, you're purchasing the same strike that you're selling, and the difference is just the expirations. So from an intrinsic value standpoint, your intrinsic value is basically netted out to zero, where an iron condor's intrinsic value could be the difference between where your short strike is versus your long strike. So your delta risk is netted out to zero, it all comes down to extrinsic value risk for a double calendar spread, and that's uh, another difference. But yeah, and this just, just to add quick, uh, it's a debit trade, so you're always selling the front and buying the back. If you're selling the back, you're synthetically naked the strangle, right? So it changes the entire profile of the of the trade. It's always going to be a debit transaction. We're never buying the front and selling the back. Mm -hmm. um, in this highlighted section at the bottom. Implied volatility percentage, so the IV-based extrinsic value exposure compared to time value extrinsic value exposure is always more inflated in the near-term cycles, the cycles that are expiring in a couple days or today. Because as an option nears its expiration, if there is any extrinsic value remaining, that is implied volatility extrinsic value since that option doesn't have any time value left. So if you see extrinsic value, especially a big number of extrinsic value uh, with one day to go or zero days to go, that is implied volatility based, which is why you see this spike in the implied volatility number. It doesn't mean that extrinsic value is increasing across the board if that IV number is continuing to climb as expiration nears. If that were the case, there would be no reason to talk about selling premium. You could just buy premium all day and just print money. That's not how it works. The, these options still decay from an extrinsic value standpoint, but they don't decay as much as time passes, which is why if extrinsic value is staying the same, but time is passing, the implied volatility number is going to go through the roof. So that's what you see when you see this IV increasing leading up to earnings. That's not extrinsic value increasing leading up to earnings. It's the fact that Time value is decaying, but not by as much because of the binary event that is yet to take place. Yeah. Okay, so here is uh, an analysis, and this is uh, in Meta, actually, believe it or not. 
so this is the closest I could find where there was still heightened implied volatility in the weekly cycle relative to the back month, which is November here. So we're looking at uh, the 95 strike and the 105 strike. So five points out of the money on either side. Uh, I did this image a little bit uh, a couple of hours ago. So the stock has moved down. So this mm -hmm. looks maybe a little bit different now, but you can see here, we're selling the 95 put and buying the 95 put. The long put in the 21 day expiration has an implied volatility that is significantly lower than the seven day expiration. Uh, the 21 day is a $3 debit for almost a $3 debit for both of these options. The seven day premium we can sell against it is about a third of that. So we're selling the premium against the long to reduce the basis. And we are hoping for a neutral move or a move to the strikes, which is another big difference between a double calendar versus an iron condor. Um, this risk analysis is a theoretical risk if we were to fast forward to next Friday's expiration. So assuming that these options expire worthless and I baked in a five percentage point contraction in the long options expiration. So you can see if we get a move to the strikes, either the 95 or 105, and these options are worthless, we will still see some profitability because these options are going to go to zero in terms of extrinsic value. And this 95 put, if we slide down there, this 95 put should increase in value. This 105 call should increase in value if we get a move up there by next Friday. So really the way to think about this, and like Nick said, this is a debit trade. If you're paying 325 for these long options with cost basis reduced by selling these shorts for next Friday, all you need to happen is for both of these long options to total a value of 325 or greater on Friday. So there's many situations within the strike plane where that can happen. Yeah, and you can see on the right side there, uh, it gives you the volatility for each expiration. So this goes back to when, what we talked about on um, uh, Monday when, when I talked about earnings uh diagonal spreads as being short volatility in the short term you can see on the right side you've got like three or four points of difference in volatility between the seven day and the and the 21 day you got the seven day at 58 percent the 21 day at 55 percent so there's a short term uh you know, short volatility component. The problem is, is that it's a limited amount of time that those options that are seven days to go till expiration, as they decay, there's less uh, exposure to volatility because there's there's less extrinsic value to decay. So you only get this, this uh, short Vega dynamic to this position for a short amount of time, whereas the Iron Condor, it stays short Vega for, for a longer period of time. Yep. Like if you don't if you don't get the ball crush right away, you know you you'd be better off with the the uh, iron condor. Mm -hmm. And what we'll do is we'll look at uh, kind of comparing the same risk. So this debit is three twenty five. That's your total risk if uh, Meta were to go crazy to the upside or crazy to the downside. Um, but with this double calendar, because your your asset is the long options here, you can be profitable if you get a move towards the strikes of 105 or 95. Yeah. For an iron condor, our risk here, if we're collecting a dollar fifty, these strikes are actually further out of the money because we're not staggering the strikes. We're going to the November cycle for both of them. So again, your intrinsic value risk here is the difference between the strikes less the credit received and that's your max loss so a 350 max loss similar to what we just looked at with the uh double calendar but the again the difference here is that it is much less about implied volatility contraction in the near term and much more about where the stock moves over the course of two weeks because here you can see instead of having the we, the, instead of having your profitability increase towards the strikes, your profitability peaks right at the middle if the stock stays right here. So that's the big difference here. This also is looking at a uh, next Friday's expiration and a 5% contraction in November implied volatility. But you can see it's not nearly as effective of, as creating profitability because not only would you be seeing implied volatility contractions in the shorts, you're going to be seeing 
implied volatility contractions in the longs against you to a greater degree because 85 puts and 90 and one of 15 calls are going to go to zero bid first before the 110 and 90. So you have a greater uh, loss potential on these 85s relative to the 90 and a greater loss potential on the 115 relative to the 110 if the stock stays right here, which is why the net PL is lower on the iron condor compared to the double calendar because in the short term, yeah. in the short term. Yeah. Yes. A, in the longer duration, like if you're talking two or three weeks, you'll have higher profit potential in the iron condor because you're short that out of the money premium. The more time that passes with that um, uh, double calendar where the, the stock doesn't move to one of your strikes, the more that decay is going to go against you because you will only have a limited amount of extrinsic value in the near term that's going to offset the decay of your long options. So you you know that that diagonal or the calendar or diagonal spread is really a short term trade. Even though you have the, the the calendar aspect to it, it's a short term trade. Whereas the iron condor gives you a little bit more time to be right. 